Quotes from, John Newton. From the Kindle, Deep Christian Quotes and Bible Verses. First Quote The Good Shepherd is represented as counting their sighs, putting their tears into his bottle, recording their sorrows in his book of remembrance. And as being able to sympathize with our weaknesses. Second Quote There are lambs among his flock, and for these he expresses a special tenderness. He will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart. Though they are weaklings, they shall not be left behind. If a poor lamb is weary, and unable to keep up with the flock, he shall carry it. These are new converts in the Lord's family, they are, as yet, weak, unsettled and inexperienced. Almost every day brings them into a new and untried situation. They often meet with opposition and discouragement. What would become of them in such circumstances, if their faithful shepherd had not promised that he will carry the lambs in his arms, holding them close to his heart? Third quote. The life of faith is a happy life. Though it is attended with conflicts, there is an assurance of victory. If we sometimes get a wound, there is healing balm near at hand. If we seem to fall, we are raised again. And, if tribulations abound, then consolations shall much more abound. Is it not happiness to have an infallible guide, an invincible guard, an almighty friend? Fourth quote. It is bliss, to be able to say of the Maker of heaven and earth, He is my beloved, my shepherd, my savior and my husband. Fifth quote. Oh, the peace which flows from believing that all the events in which we are concerned, are under His immediate disposal. That the very hairs of our head are all numbered. That He delights in our prosperity, that there is a need be, if we are in heaviness and that all things shall surely work together for our good. Sixth quote. How happy to have such views of his sovereignty, wisdom, love, and faithfulness, as will enable us to meet every difficult dispensation with submission, and to look through the painful changes of the present life, to that unchangeable inheritance to which the Lord is leading us, when all evil shall cease, and where our joy shall be perfect and eternal. Seventh quote. If I was to set myself a moderate penance, it might be to spend two weeks in London in the height of summer. But I forget myself. I hope the Lord is with you, and then all places are alike. He makes the dungeon and the stocks comfortable, Acts 26. Yes, even a fiery furnace, and a lion's den. A child of God in London, seems to be in all these trying situations, but Jesus can preserve his own people. I honor the grace of God in those few, comparatively few, I fear, who preserve their garments undefiled in that sardis. The air is filled with spiritual infection. And it is by God's special power and miraculous preservation, that they enjoy spiritual health, when so many sicken, and fall around them, on the right hand and on the left. May the Lord preserve you from the various epidemic soul diseases, which abound where you are, and may He be your comfort, and defense from day to day. Thanks.